lovely people as promised i am back with part two of the mccart nail foil kit review if you all missed part one i will leave the link down in the description box in this video i am going to be testing the foil glue with a 60 second curing time or one minute curing time so i hope you all enjoy okay so this is round two of our experiment you guys um so for these two foils here i'm gonna go in with my just a flirt from nail addict for this pink snakeskin foil here, I'm gonna go in with um, number 28 from Beatles. For this blue one, it's gonna be number 880 from Beatles. And then for this beautiful chrome foil here, it's gonna be Friday Night from Nail Addict. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply one coat of all of these off camera and apply foil glue to the first transfer nail and then let it cool for 30 seconds and I'll be back. It's been cured, it's going on about 30 seconds. This here is my foil from Shein. I think I wanted to transfer, definitely I want this sunflower on here. So maybe I'll just do like, like this. Okay. It's not as much of the image as I want, so I'll probably have to go through and cut out some others. But you all know how I do. I go up and down the middle of the nail first, then I go to the sides. Go to the side and rub, 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 rub. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get the green on here too. First I wasn't going to, but I will. And then same thing, these images here. So I'm gonna go ahead and rub down on this until I can't rub anymore. I think 60 seconds is better, you guys, to be honest with you. I don't think the two minutes, um, even though that's what McCart recommends, I don't think that's gonna work, at least for the Shein and my Young Nails foils. Um, I am going to go in with another McCart foil and try 60 seconds and see if that works as well. But I'm finding that one minute is the sweet spot here for these transfers. Um, and I do have another McCart foil to kind of test that theory out. So yeah, I'm just going to keep rubbing here and rub, rub, rub till you can't rub no more, y'all. And we're going to see if it transferred, okay? Like so. And let's pick up and see. Yep, look at that. Look at that. Nice clean. It's a clean transfer. Well, no, the flower didn't get on here. Let me see if I can get this flower on all the way. Let me just rub, rub, rub a little bit more right here. That's where it wrinkled at here. So I'm gonna take this silicone tool. And just rub in the places where that was a wrinkle. I take it all the way off. Yeah, and that worked. Okay, cool. Okay, so now let's see. Let's see what we got now. Boom, look at that. Wow, you guys. Look at that. It took all the way off. Look at that. Ha! That is pretty. Look at this, y'all. 60 seconds is it, okay? So 60 seconds is the key and 30 and curing for 60 seconds and waiting 30 seconds, that's the key. Look at how beautiful that is. Yeah, that transferred flawlessly. I'm happy with that. Wow. And the little leaf transfer really good too. Yeah, I'm happy with that, y'all. Okay, so that's that one. That was a Shein foil. So 60 seconds with the Shein foil, 30 seconds to cool. And this, you guys, can still be used for another design. There's still plenty of images on here. I don't throw away my old foil, so I'm gonna just put that in a separate container here. Next, I wanna see, um, actually, I don't know where this foil is from. We are gonna try to get it to transfer here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and see how that transfers. And this is a good test too, because then we can kind of see um, how any how any foil would transfer, right, with the 60 second cure time and 30 second cool time. Let's see if we can get this one to transfer just as good as that first one. That first one is really pretty, wow. Okay, so we are gonna see here. So I'm gonna cure for 60 seconds, let cool for 30 seconds, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this one's all ready to go. Now I'm going to go ahead and lay the foil down with the image that I want, okay. So I think I want it kind of closer to this side. I want, come on, I want a little bit of everything on this nail. So we're just gonna lay it down just like that, okay? And then, you know, I'm gonna go up and down on the nail first, okay? So up and down, up and down, all right? Then I'm gonna go to the side, the side, the side. 
There, it looks like it's gonna be some wrinkles here, so we'll see if we can fix that. And once I kind of get it laying down, then I'm gonna go ahead and rub it, okay? And just press everything in. Yeah, I really feel like the one minute cure time is a lot better than two minutes, okay? Okay, so let's see how it's looking so far. Okay, it doesn't even seem like it wants to pick up, so let me keep rubbing until it starts to separate a little bit. Okay. Yeah, that's interesting. It's like it's sticking to it, but it doesn't want to come up at all, which is kind of weird. Let's see. It doesn't want to come off there. Okay, there we go. Okay, that piece didn't come. So I'm just going to... Rub that down a little bit. That's weird. It's like it's it's sticking really hard to the the foil. So I don't know if maybe it's the foil itself. Like I said, I don't really know where these foils came from. So maybe it's the foil itself. But it's like it's not really wanting to come off or separate from it. So I'm gonna just keep on. Oops. <laughs> I'll just keep rubbing here as I'm peeling it off, just to try to get it to you know naturally want to separate. You know. Like so, let's see. Okay, so that part is coming off. Okay, there we go. So that transferred off really nicely. Wow, that's a pretty nail. Look, oh y'all, look at this image. Oh my God. Oh, I'm ready to use this foil right now. Wow, that's pretty y'all. That's pretty. Even though it was a little bit stubborn coming off, it came off clean, y'all. It came off clean. Look at that. Look at that. That was a, that's probably the cleanest transfer I didn't see. Okay. Yeah, that was nice. That was beautiful. Wow. That is such a clean image. Look at that. Impressed. Okay. That was awesome. Dang, I wish I knew where those foils were from. Okay. So that was that one. Then the next one here, this pink one, again, that came in this box. I'm not sure where they were from, but let's see. I think that 60 second cure time, 30 second cool. That's it, y'all. That's the secret to foils. I didn't even, and I haven't even had to do the hack where I wiped down the back of the foil with alcohol. I haven't even had to do that. So that's one less step to complete, and I'm okay with avoiding that step. So let's go ahead, and this is a thin layer of the foil glue. Cure for 60 seconds, cool for 30. Now I'm going to go ahead and place the foil onto the nail here. And this one's kind of short, so I wish I had made it a little bit longer, but I'm just going to go ahead and place it here, and I'm, hopefully it covers the entire nail. And I'm going to just rub, 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 till I can't rub no more, okay? My little one just woke up. <laughs> good, good morning, Yaya. Bless you. Good morning, beautiful. Bless you. Good morning. All right, y'all. Might have to stop this experiment, but I will say this is transforming really, really nicely right now. Look at this. Look at this. Lovely. Okay. Let me see if I can get a clean transfer really quick. And then I gotta go, y'all. <laughs> I'll have to come back here and finish up these last couple of nails. Okay, so let's see how this did. Oh, I must do that some. It didn't come up. That's all. Look, look at that beauty. That's a beauty. Let me see if I can get this little thin line here. Yeah, that one came off pretty good too. Look at that. Beautiful. All right, y'all. That's the key. 60 second cure time, 30 second cool. That is the key right there. Wow. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. So then I am going to go ahead and do some foil glue on this one. Cure for 60 seconds, cool for 30, and I'll be right back. Good morning, yeah, yeah. Good morning, 
Yeah, yeah. Okay. Did you sleep well? Okay. Breakfast. You ready for breakfast? All right, so that was quite the intermission there. So this uh, nail I put on the foil glue, I cured for 60 seconds, and it's been about 30 seconds since it's been drying. So I'm going to go ahead and take this foil here, okay, and lay it on top of the nail. I'm just gonna lay it straight down like this. It looks like there's good adhesion. And then I'm going to just go up and down on the nail first. So that's my up, that's my down. I'm gonna go straight to the side, straight to the side, and then diagonal. Wow, it looks like it's already coming off really good too. And then I'm gonna just rub it until I can't rub anymore. Okay. Again, I didn't wipe it with alcohol. Don't feel like it's really that necessary. Um, I think just letting it cool a little bit is the sweet spot for me in getting these transfer foils to work. Let's see here. Okay, this one looks like it's transferring beautifully. Um, there are some wrinkles here, so I'm just gonna try to see if I can work them out. Yeah, this looks like it's gonna be a clean transfer. It looks good. Let's see here. Oh yeah, that looks beautiful. Look at that, wow. So there was some remnants on here, but honestly you can't even see it on the actual transfer itself. Look how flawless this looks. Look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely perfect transfer. Wow. Yeah, I'm impressed. All right, McCart. Oh, this is a McCart foil though too. So let's keep that in mind. This is a McCart foil. But honestly, I feel like all of these have transferred pretty flawlessly, right? And so all of these was the 60 second cure with the 30 second cool time. So I think that's just the key for any foil, right? Um, and then this one here is the next one I'm gonna do, this chrome one. So I'm just gonna go in with one more thin layer of this foil glue, let it cool for a little bit, and then see how it transfers. But I think that's it right there, you guys. I'm excited. I am excited. I'm getting ready to do a foil look soon and um, I just wanted to go ahead and practice my foil application again because it's been a while. It's been a while. Okay, so that's cured for the 60 seconds here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to the nail. I think I want the green towards the back. No, I have it here. And do like this. Okay. And then we're gonna go up and down. So that's my up. That's my down. We're gonna go to the side. Oops. And then the side, like so. Then we'll do the diagonals. You can see it already transferring already. That is awesome. Diagonal, diagonal. And then I'm gonna rub it out. So yeah, I was um, like I was saying, I've only actually done uh, foils on myself once, and um, they turned out pretty good. I used the Young Nails, not the Young Nails, the Beatles foil glue, and yeah, it worked out pretty well. So I can't really complain about that too much. Yeah, y'all, this looks like it's it's already on. So let's see. I feel like this chrome one transferred a lot easier because um, it's kind of already, it was already flaking off when I was just cutting it. So yeah, that looks nice. Wow. Let me see if I can get the rest of that green here at the tip though. Uh, let's see. I think that's the best it's going to get. So yeah, y'all, y'all see that chrome? This transferred beautifully. Absolutely love this. Wow, look at that. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with top coat on all these nails and we'll be back for the final reveal of all of these transfer foils. And I'll give you guys my final thoughts. All right, you guys, so these are our nails here. So this was the first set of nails I did. Um, on the first three nails here, I did do the curing for the two minutes. And then after that, I found that uh, curing it for just 60 seconds and letting air dry for, or letting cool for about 30 seconds was the key to a perfect transfer. And so that happened on this nail. It was a flawless transfer. On this nail was a flawless transfer. And then on all of these, you guys, whoops, 
on all of these, the transfer was just absolutely perfect. So let me see if it'll focus here. So look at that. All of these, the, the transfer was just absolutely perfect. That was a little bit of spots missing here, but it's not even noticeable. Um, because again, that's why we put the background color down so that if you do have spots that don't transfer, people can't really tell. Only reason you could tell on this one is because it's green at the tip, but to the naked eye, I mean, yeah, y'all, these, these turned out really good. So yeah, I'm impressed. I had a lot of fun making this video. Like once you get the foils to work, they work. And I did go off camera, you guys, and I tried to see what was going on with this one. Cause you know, earlier I couldn't get this one to transfer. And it still didn't transfer. Like it tried a little bit, but I don't know. Like the when I tried to place the image on this way, I guess that was the front instead of the back. And then I placed it this way and just, it really wasn't trying to get off. So I'm not really sure about this particular foil. I don't know why it was giving me so many issues, but you know, it is what it is. So yeah, y'all, that was the, that was me testing out the McCart foil glue kit. So um my final thoughts on the products are that i actually really like it um i would highly recommend this foil glue it's actually really good um the key to it i know on the bottle it says to cure for two minutes um or at least it said in the instructions cure for two minutes i actually would not recommend that to me i feel like it got the foil a little bit too dry i feel like to get the perfect stickiness for the foils to transfer clean is to cure for 60 seconds, let cool for 30 seconds, and I think you'll have a flawless transfer every time. And I don't think it matters which foil you use, because sometimes I, I thought it was, uh, depending on where you got the foils from, I don't think it matters what foil you use, just make sure you cure for 60 seconds, let cool for 30, and y'all see the flawless results here. Also too, for my foils that I have already used, um, typically whenever I test out foils or use foils, I do keep the spare ones in here, you know, just in case I decide to, you know, use them again, or maybe I'll make a hosh posh of of, you know different designs so all the foils that I tested in the video today I'm actually going to just put them inside of here so that later on when I want to do another design and such um, you know I can maybe come here and use some of this first um, and or like I say get creative and make a hodgepodge of a design on a nail so um, you know I'm just somebody I don't like to throw stuff away I'm kind of low-key a hoarder so that's why I keep these and then yeah y'all I hope y'all enjoyed this video what do y'all think about this video do you all have any tips tricks or hacks to get your transfoils to transfer properly or perfectly um any tips or tricks that you all may have to share i'd be interested in hearing about them definitely uh drop a comment and let me know i'm always looking for room for improvement in case you all are curious about the sets i have on i do have full tutorials on both of these looks i'll leave a link down in the description box in case you want to check those out i do upload every tuesday thursday and saturday thursdays in particular are my nail therapy thursday videos where i tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails and yeah if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family i'd love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and i'll see you in my next video i hope you all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye